Hello disc golfers, this is Matt Dollar and I'm here today with the 2017 Savannah Open and it is the final six holes for the Men's Pro Open Division and they were taking the top five players into the final six and leading us off will be Dustin Perry playing for Team Prodigy and here he is on hole number one at Tom Triplett Park just outside of Savannah, Georgia. It's a very nice shot from Dustin. And here's Michael Johansson playing for Team Discraft. Michael's out of North Carolina. And I'm pretty sure he went with a comet there on hole number one. So we've got Josh Child sitting at 18 under par. He is two behind our leader, Dustin Perry, and one behind Michael Johansson. So we've really got a three horse race right now going into this final six holes. Also joining us in the final six is Tucker Williams, a local from the Savannah area. And Tucker played some great golf this weekend. He was putting lights out the whole time. I was able to play with him the second round on the lead card. And rounding out our crew here will be my good buddy John Matlack from Atlanta, Georgia. And Malik, Malik made a great stand to get back into the finals here. He uh, was on the last card after the first round and shot two very good rounds to get back in it. So there's Tucker Williams with a great putt on hole number one. Woo! Woo! And the crowd's absolutely loving their local kid. Tucker Williams. So if you like that uh, second camera angle, you can thank Kevin Cleason, uh, another pro out of the Mid-Atlantic area. I believe he's in Maryland right now. Uh, but Kevin was nice enough to film with his camera from behind the basket, so for the first time ever, Matt Dollar Disc Golf has two different angles. So we saw Josh Childs and Michael Johansson both miss their birdie putts, which means Dustin Perry can extend his lead to two strokes, and he does. And we'll move on to hole number two. Coming in just under 400 feet, but playing like it's well over it. And it's a long, tough par three. You have a pretty tight gap there off the tee, and then a left turn about 300 feet out. Definitely a driver, uh, not something super overstable because you want it to continue going forward as it moves left. Tucker Williams throws a nice looking shot at the middle. Gets a little slide. Oh yeah. And the crowd giving Tucker some love. So MJ, still one back of the lead, comes yeah. up and lets one rip. Wow, MJ's drive was going right to the basket yeah, yeah, yeah. that tree. That was definitely the last tree possible before it got to the green. Tough break for MJ. Josh Childs comes out just a little early on that one, and it kicks him left. That's going to be a tough save for his par. And Matlack also finds some trees early. But he has dialed up an amazing sidearm here. Wowzers. I'm not sure what Matt like threw there, but that was incredible. Here's a replay from Kevin's angle by the basket. Got a little tick there off the branch. Comes in hot, screams past the basket, gets a nice little skip. Well, maybe a not so nice skip. And uh, now we're back here to Dustin. Dustin just wants to get a three here. If he can get his three, he will definitely be in a comfortable position. But like Matlack, Dustin carries it a little too far. And he's going to have a tough putt for his three. Speaking of tough threes, Josh Childs threw into a tree there. And he's going to have to just pitch up and get his four. So he's going to need a little help from these guys if he wants to get back in this match. And here's Johansson with a very long birdie look. And he gives it a pretty good bit there with his ringer. Not quite able to get it in though. See if Tucker's got some more magic in him. Yeah, he gives a good bit. It was a nice straight line, but just not not quite having the height there. 
Matlack looked pretty impressed with himself on that one. Thought it was going to drop, but it didn't quite do it. And Dustin doesn't have much of a look from back there, so he just has to lay up and uh, accept his four. So MJ will actually move one stroke closer, and he is back to one off the lead. So now we're on hole number three. Uh, one of the shortest holes on the course. Maybe the shortest hole from the black tees. And it's really tight, though. You're trying to go just to the right of the big dark tree that Dustin hit right there. If you go just to the right of that, there is a gap straight down to the basket. Damn right. And Josh Childs throws a very nice shot here. Josh gave me a little love this weekend for uh, telling him he needed to be throwing the judges off the tee. That was a judge there. And he threw it very nicely. Let go of everything. Now I can find some more trees. And uh, really you're going to see these guys a lot further out than you will normally see uh, the lead card in open. Generally you're going to see about three to four birdies in a five uh on the lead card in open here. But there are a lot of trees on this hole and they managed to find most of them. So Tucker's got a chance for birdie. And Tucker has just putted that one a hair too high. So Josh Childs will card the only birdie after throwing the judge off the tee there. Everyone else just trying to get in there for a little par. Dustin hits just a little left side, but he's going to get away with it here. And we'll move on to hole number 16, coming in around 350 feet. Josh will take the tee pad, and he is at back to 18 under par. So he is back to two off of Dustin and one off of MJ. Tucker Williams trying to mount a comeback, but he is still six strokes off the lead. At this point, I think Tucker is happy with just putting on a show for his fans. MJ is coming out with some kind of fairway driver. Look to be on a beautiful line. Hides her just a bit and catches a late tree. Dustin also appears to be going with a fairway driver. And like MJ, his is appearing to come out just a little bit early. And I'll give him a long putt. We got Malak going lefty. Oh, <laughs> Everyone got a I giggle out of that one. Now we need some lefty redemption. There we go. Totally hey. redeem yourself. <laughs> That's pretty solid left handed shot. Yeah, I, I, I should have done it the first time. Left lag. So Tucker will be first to putt here. Backpedal. This one's going to come in probably over 60 feet, maybe close to 70. Look at this jump. We got another beautiful view from Kevin from behind the basket. And Tucker puts a nice little ante, gives it good height, and as soon as it releases, it starts dropping straight down to the chains. Barry's in the pocket. What a pocket. Tucker's really gotten this crowd fired up right now. This is uh, quite the show for the finals. Josh is going to miss one over top of the basket, and Matlack will follow suit. Dustin puts a pretty, bit, pretty good bit on it, but he's going to come out just a little left. Wow, MJ2, all these guys just having a little bit of trouble putting on this one after Tucker drained the big putt. And that's definitely going to cost Dustin. Um, you can tell he was not happy with that effort there. And sometimes that happens. Uh, disc golf is a crazy game and you put all your focus into one area and into one thing and then you just drop your guard for half a second and something like that will happen. Even to the best of players. So, it's a tough break, and we'll move on to hole 17. 
Now we've got Josh Childs. We didn't get him from behind the basket. And when I say we, I mean me. I was the one filming from behind the players. Uh, but Kevin did catch it from behind the basket, so... Dustin's bogey on the last hole actually brings it back to a tie ball. MJ and Dustin tied at 19 under with Josh one behind them at 18 under. And that was MJ's disc that just came sliding in there for a birdie putt on this long par 3. Everything on this side of the road is out of bounds too on this hole. And you will see people hyzer out and come back in the road uh, quite often on this hole. Because the best way to get to the basket is to have it turn at the end of its flight. Turn right at the end of its flight. Uh, so a lot of guys will just throw it extra far right and just hope to get through the woods. So Josh has a chance to get back in the mix here with this putt. Oh, it's a huge putt, Josh. That is so clutch. Let's catch the replay here. If Josh hits this, he is right back tied for the lead. And he steps up strong for that one. Great putt by Josh Childs. Now MJ will have a putt to take the lead outright by one after Matlack putts here. If that Nova stops rolling. So MJ needs this for the outright lead. And after some not so great putts, MJ steps up in the clutch situation and makes a good stroke there. So we move on to hole 18. It is our last hole and it's coming in at just under 300 feet. And we've got Josh Childs one stroke off the lead. And he is first to tee. He's going with a felon. Whoa. Whoa. And that is a great shot by Josh. This is a, an extremely tight fairway. Oh, and start going left until you have to. <laughs> Looks like the crowd thinks Josh got a little bit of love there. He might have pulled it too far right off the tee and snuck through uh, some of those trees. So now we've got Michael Johansson leading by one over Josh Childs and Dustin Perry. A birdie here would finish the game. Not this time. MJ doesn't want it that easy. But he laughs off that tree hit. And here's Dustin in the same position as Josh. He has to get a birdie here to try and continue this match. Dustin throws that beautiful fairway driver again and just locks it up. Absolute tap in from Dustin on this one. Drop in And there's local favorite Tucker taking the inside route there, getting away with one. And Matlack said he was going to take the straight at it route to try and uh, throw the head the crowd. Day late in there for sure, but Matlack almost throws in a real nice one here with the Nova. Catch a couple replays of this one before we move on to the green. Matlack's having a tough finals, but it's not getting him down. Is that a cage? Is that a cage? Yes, cage. Matlack. He finally did something. We're not playing good, but we're having fun. So, after that, we've got Michael Johansson with a long putt for the win. And it seemed like MJ was just laying that one up. I guess he didn't want to try to get in any trouble. So, Josh Childs has got a huge putt here, and he has been spit out by this basket twice this tournament. Oh, I don't know if those thoughts were going through his head, but it be hard not to have him. Uh, I watched him spit out on the first round and the second round on that same basket. When you can't trust the equipment, it's tough to put it in. So Tucker makes birdie Yay. and finishes in fourth place. Matt Lack will scramble in there with a bogue and he will finish in fifth place. Josh will finish in third and Dustin will tap in that birdie and we will have a plate. So here we are on hole number one, playing the black tee again. And it is a sudden death playoff. Both guys finished 20 under par after the finals. So Dustin hit one of those early trees on the left 
like everyone else did earlier, and he is going to be in trouble because MJ has piped this one right down the middle. Oh. Catch a replay from Kevin Zangle. In the road. MJ don't care about the tree, he just laughs it off. Michael Johansson has one of the best mental games there is out there, and I would highly suggest anyone looking for a good mental game role model to look at Michael Joe. So Dustin has trouble scrambling, and now Michael Joe can win with just a par, but he's Michael Joe, and he is going to throw that birdie putt in there and win with style. He started out slow in the first round, but just built up steam as he went. Michael Johansson shot a 14 or 15 under in round number two, which was just insane. Hot round by five. And he is your 2017 Savannah Open champion. Thanks, guys, for watching Matt Dollar Disc Off, and thanks to Kevin Gleason for filming from that second angle. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, Matt Dollar Disc Off, and have a great day.